Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mount Entertainment, and welcome back to Farm Simulator 17 work. And today we are gonna be, we got actually quite a bit planned for today, so we gotta get straight to work as soon as we get here. So, first off, we gotta change all this grass where we mowed, and we gotta add a little bit. I don't know why it turned back on. Huh, that was weird. We gotta add a little bit more over here, but we don't need to come mow it. So if you're wondering where all the grass went, I already came through and took it out a little bit ago. Like, not maybe two hours ago? I don't know. So. Don't hit. Okay. Oh, it hits, but it doesn't change it. Okay, good. Okay, so they want this to be lawn. Gotta find the lawn. Right there. Because they don't want this field grass stuff here, which I don't blame them. They want it to be nice and... Yeah, so gotta add a little bit more over there. So, n not a big deal. But... So, here's the difference. As you can tell, there's actually quite a bit of a difference. They said they would rather have lawn than this field grass, which I don't blame them. This field grass does not look the best. So, we are just going to be removing it all and changing it all back to this, or not back, but to this lawn. And it should grow grass, hopefully. Uh, they don't know how it'll do out here. No one's ever tried it, they said. Because there's not really any neighbors around here that ha would have this grass. They want a little bit more added onto this side, so we'll do that as well. Because I want some area for the little kids to play, they said. Just back it on it. I like how it does it while we're backing up. But we don't have to be careful over here. It's actually pretty perfect right there. Okay, so let's go right here, I think. Perfect. Perfecto, Imondo. Go out this way, just a hair, like so. I just want a little bit more. They said they've been coming out here every so often to take a look at how the process is going or the progress. And they said it's going pretty good, and they can't wait to be out here. But we still have a lot more to do. We do have to put the house on here today. Well, we plan on that is if we can go pick it up from the builder. He said it should be done. He said on Friday, not Friday, gosh, last Friday that it would be done by the time we need it. But I'm not sure if he knew we needed it by today. But we will call him up and see it's ready all right so i'm gonna finish this job right here this little lawn care section or whatever you want to call it and then i'll bring you guys back when we go do everything else we need to do so i'll see you guys in a little bit bye all right so that is finished and so i did go back through i might have widened this a little bit I just finished the edges. Oh, did I do this side? Yeah. Uh, just to clean it up because when I did this, it kind of would go over. I don't think I missed any. I may have, but it looks great, I think. Oh, yeah. No? Nope. I thought there was a spot, but there isn't. Like, yeah, it looks like... I actually like that it's kind of a mixed texture right there. So... That looks uh, 10 times better, so it goes to there, then out to there. We Oh, I missed a spot. Oh, I 
missed it. Okay, see? This is why you go back over your things when you're doing a project. You want to check everything over again. See? And you might find a little mistake like that. So. Alright, let's just go back over. And it comes out to here. And like, these edges aren't the best, but they said it honestly doesn't matter to them. They just want it to look good from whatever they can see. So there's a spot here that I just realized. Like, this post is kind of hard to get around. So we're not done. Oh, good job. We got rid of it all. Um, I hit the wrong button. Alright, so we are actually going to leave this here. Just in case we gotta add any more. But we are going to be moving it all over here. Out of our way. Eh, you know what, let's pull it onto this road, kind of. Because I don't know, we're going to have to get in here with a mobile home next. I think that's the next, yeah. We're going to have to bring in a mobile home and try to get it down here. And hopefully with this extra wide driveway we got here, it'll go a bit smoother. So we're going to have to get it down here, turn it around, and get it set up right there. Easier said than done, I think. We'll just park this here. If we need to move it, we will. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've been actually kind of hiding this truck from you guys. Oh, like truck from you guys for a little bit. It's just been back here in this barn, and those are still here. We haven't heard anything on those, but here it is. Oh, we need to widen that, or open that door a little bit more. I opened it enough for me to get in, not the truck to get out. Perfecto. Okay, so this is just a, I think it's an international. Uh, let's check. Okay, international. Uh... Mobile home mover, I'm guessing. That's all it's called. I don't know if there is anything else that it's called. So, we might be low, wondering why we're coming down here. We need this truck. It's not going to tow anything. We're just going to use it for lights to follow this. So. We just need a kind of a backup beacon lights and this truck has them. If it didn't we would have found something else that did. We'll run beacons on our way there. No we won't actually. We won't need them. Alright so gotta so the good thing about this truck is this hitch actually moves up and down and side to side so we can kind of get these mobile homes into wherever we need to. It just will take us a little bit of time to do it. So the mirrors are messed up, the interior is not done, which I honestly don't care. It, it's a nice truck for what it is, I think. I get it, I got all these from the same place I'll try to remember to put a link but if I don't just message or send me a thing and I'll try to remember to do it so the mobile home place is down here on the right not there it's like after this driveway a few it's right here told you guys and there it is I ordered a green one
Alright, we don't need this truck out here right now, or anywhere right now, so we'll just set it right here. Perfect. Alright, so this thing is in this corner tight, he said. Just how he had to get it in there to make room for him to build more, which it doesn't look like he's building anymore at the moment. But he said just to come pick it up and get it. And we've, they've already been paid, he said. They already paid him, so. We're gonna just pull this thing out. We gotta set up the wide load signs and all that. So. Gotta run beacons. Because got to. Alright. Get in here and hit home. I actually really do like the look of this truck. Even though it is a Dodge. <laughs> Sorry, Dodge owners. Where are you going, buddy? That was me driving. No one's driving this thing. Any offset? Oh gosh. Come on buddy, don't do that to me. Are your beacons on? Yep. Perfect. Alright, so I'm not sure how I need to drive with this yet. We'll move it over. Yeah, that seems to do it. Try to drive it with the to be centered. We'll turn on our hazards, since we are kind of a... Oh, you know what we need to do? we got to put our oversized load banner on the truck. Because we won't want to get pulled over and not have that on here. Because that could be bad for us. If we don't have that. Okay, we're going to have to actually use the Ford, too. To block traffic. So we can get it into that area so we are gonna have to get the help of all of our trucks and stuff oh that guy got really close I don't want to get close to people with this on the side so we're gonna try and keep it out of their way or oh, without hitting people or having our driver cut up really you didn't see the wide load Come on, people. Open your eyes. Stop texting and walking. Isn't that, like, illegal somewhere? You can't be texting and walking or something. Or on your phone and walking. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if that's a thing. If you know if it is a thing. I'm not sure if it is or not, so. Alright, so we're going to have to stop quite a ways down the road to block traffic and jump in the Ford. Alright, so we're going to want to move it to the left, I believe. To get around this corner here. Without taking out any signs of anyone's. Perfect. I, I always lose where this house is, so I'm going to have to try to remember. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we'll just park right here for now. that guy there. Now I'll just move this. That's actually a really cool combo down there. Alright, and you don't have to block traffic too far on this side. We'll just go right here. And back on it. And pull it forward. 
so hopefully no one will hit us. We should turn on our uh, hazards. Just so people know not to hit us. You would think that would be like a universal thing. If there's a vehicle in the road, you don't want to hit it. But, you know, some people, they need some extra help. Because I can't figure these things out. So hopefully we can get up this hill. It is kind of a steep hill. So, after this, we don't have a rear truck or... And we don't have a guide truck. I think we would have a guide truck, but we don't. Alright, so this might be where we need to use this. Nope. I thought we might have uh, had to flip the thing up. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. Bring that up. Back down. Try to keep all the wheels on the ground at one time. No, I want to... Yeah. There we go. Ooh, hopefully I made this big enough. Okay, now let's do the skirting that actually fits more better than I thought it would yeah it doesn't come yeah it is actually kind of in line with the driveway there so that's always good all right so then they wanted like a path um Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, hey, please stop. Hey. Uh, you just rammed into my truck. That was not nice of you, sir. Wow. Inconsiderate people. I just muted you guys' volume in-game. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. But there wasn't really much to hear, I don't think. It was just when we put the skirting stuff out that it did that, so. You guys are all good, I bet. Okay, now we gotta get in that truck real quick. We'll just use this. We'll just cheat. Enter. Gosh, inconsiderate people. See, those are, that person that hit our truck is exactly the people that need extra help in this world. But I don't think anyone in this world has the help they need. Just saying. Okay. okay I think there's a path, but I'm not sure what that looks like. Eight meadow lawn original. Well, there must not be. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. So we'll just do dirt like they wanted. They said if we can do a whatever it's called, that would be great. But if we can't, just to do a, a dirt one. Gotta make sure you get under there. It's actually a really nice path. Change angle? What does that mean? Huh. I don't know what the angle thing does, but okay. Okay. Oh, this 
one just to go there, which is alright with me. Okay, I think we moved the house a little bit. Let's see. Let's try to push it that way a little bit. Okay, now we moved it too much. Darn it. Darn it. Just bump it. Bump it. There we go. It was not supposed to be there. See, it's these fine little details that we do. What was that? Some of them just like hit the wall in my sister's room, I think. Or in her closet, then it like her closet shares a wall with my room and it must have hit. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that is it for today. We still got to do a little bit more work out here, but that will come at a later date. Hopefully this week we can get that stuff done. But until then, that is it for today. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, for another video. Bye-bye for now. I'll see you guys later.